Today I am going to tell you about the birth defect called narrow tube defect. I will give you general information about narrow tube defects and then go on details. Narrow tube defects are disorders that are formed during the pregnancy affecting the spine or spinal cord. A baby's narrow tube normally starts out as a tiny flat ribbon that turns into the, a tube by the end of the first month of pregnancy. If the tube does not close completely, a narrow tube defect can happen. Narrow tube defects can cause serious problems for babies, including death. In this picture, you can see one of the most common types of a narrow tube defects called a spina bifida, uh, which happens when a neural tube fails to close on the lower part of spinal cord. In United States, the narrow tube uh, defects occur in about 3,000 births per year. This might surprise you, but in general. Monitoring systems for neural tube defects have become more common in countries with lower income rates. Let's take a look at this diagram which shows the statistics of neural tube defects based on the country's income. Middle income countries 26%, low income 69% and high income 5%. Neural tube defects are genetic, they are considered as a, a complex disorder because the combination of multiple genes and multiple environmental factors is responsible for them. If a couple has a one child with neural tube defect, however, their odds of having a second child with neural tube defect is increased around 2-5%. to now let's talk about two major types of a neural tube defects. The two, two most common neural tube defects are spina bifida and anencephaly. Spina bifida affects about 1,500 babies a year in the United States. If your baby has a spina bifida, the tiny bones of the spine do not close completely, as, a, as you see in the, this picture, and part of the spinal cord pokes through the spine. Anencephaly is one of the most severe neural tube defects. It affects about 1,000 babies each year in the United States. Anencephaly is caused when the upper part of neural tube that forms the brain does not close completely. Babies with this condition are missing major parts of brain, skull and scalp. They do not survive long after the birth, usually just for few hours. Girls are three times more likely to have this condition than the boys. So let's take a look at these pictures. This is when neural tube fails to close on the upper part and the result is anencephaly. The other way uh, to call this disorder is without brain. Let's take a look at this other image. As you see, a big part of baby's brain is missing. That's one of the reasons that the baby does not live with this condition for a long time. And in here again you can see the spina bifida. And now let's talk about the symptoms of this. Neural tube defects are usually diagnosed before the infant is born through lab or imaging tests. Symptoms include physical problems, blindness, deafness, intellectual disability, lack of consciousness and in some cases even death. This picture is a radiology picture that shows the, uh, that the baby has a neural tube disorder right here. And now let's talk about the treatment of this defect. One way of preventing neural tube defects in your baby is taking folic acid before and during the early pregnancy. Neural tube defects happen in the first month of pregnancy, before you may know you are pregnant. This is why it's important to have enough folic acid, which is the vitamin B, in your body before you get pregnant. Let's say that you couldn't prevent the neural tube defect and now the baby is born with the defect. As a treatment, the newborn with an open neural tube defect should be kept warm and the defect covered with sterile wet saline dressing. Saline dressing. With consideration for uh, prophylactic antibiotics, the patient should be positioned in the prone position to prevent pressure on the defect. Let's go back to this picture. As you, as you see, the patient, the baby is positioned on the prone position, uh, so there is there cannot be a pressure on the defect. And uh, let's continue. Uh, prompt closure of the defect is indicated ideally within the first 72 hours after birth. The closure involves um, classic neurological techniques involving the approximation of the lateral edges of the open neural plate to form neural tube. 
This covers the open casual end of the spine, uh, spinal cord with the layer of pia mater. If you remember from uh, the brain chapter, pia mater is the very thin layer that covers our brain and spinal cord. In this picture you can see uh, the surgery process that's done to the to treat the narrow tube uh, defect. Mm, this last image shows the statistics of neural tube defects before and after folic acid fortification. USA, Canada, Chile, Costa Rica, South Africa. Take a look at diagram. And uh, the reason I choose to tell about this birth defect is because I like to study babies and explore the disorders and diseases that they might have. In the future, I'm planning to work in the children's hospital. Uh, that's why um, I pay closer attention to babies. I hope you liked my presentation. Thank you.